Hey, what is up, guys? This is your boy Jam, and I'm back with another video here. We're using the double lasers. If you guys don't get the reference, then I'm just a weirdo. But if you guys do get the reference, then thank you. I don't know. I just, you know, double lasers. Or double. Never mind. Um, we have 29, 28 days until the closed beta testing starts. And I freaking cannot wait to, like, I'm thinking about it. It's going to be a closed beta, meaning it's it's still going to be a beta. It's not the full release. So if anybody starts complaining when it comes out and is like, oh, this game sucks. It's not. Well, remember here, it's, it's, a, it's a closed beta. It's a closed beta. And they're still working on it. My only problem is right now with this closed beta testing is that Smolensk is not on there. And I'm fine with that. It's, it's I, I have a problem with it, but I don't have a problem with it. Because one, they don't want Smolensk on there because one, it's not ready two because it's not ready and i'm fine with that <laughs> and i'm willing to wait for smolens to later be put into the closed beta testing at a later date i just really wish smolens was on there because that's just my favorite map from world war 3 c1 is my domain if anybody's seen that old video link will be in the description below i love c1 and smolens i will always love c1 and smolens i always feel like some of my great clips were always on smolens Am I saying that right? Am I saying that right? Smolensk? I am. So, November 25th, 2021 will be on a Thursday. Do you guys understand that? We're going to have some World War III ready for the weekend. We're going to be able to play it Thursday morning, Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all the way to March of 2022 when it will then become a free-to-play game. It's a very exciting to think about that we're going to be able to play till March of 2022 and then continue to play with the rest of the world that want to play after it becomes a free to play title. It's it's still free to play, but if you want to play in the closed beta testing, yes, you have to buy a pack or if you're a veteran, you're able to play in the closed beta testing. Now, don't worry, you can wait. If you really don't want to pay, you can wait to March to play World War 3. Another thing, too, it's crazy that World War III's closed beta testing is releasing in November with two other major titles, which being Call of Duty Vanguard November 5th and Battlefield 2042 November 19th. So days after, we'll get Battlefield 2042. Will this mess it up in any way? No. Um... I'm going to be playing, for sure, all three of those games. It's not going to stop me from playing one more than the other. I have friends that like to play Call of Duty Vanguard. When they're all on, I'll play Vanguard with them. If um, my cousin or somebody else wants to squad up and play some 2042, I'll squad up in that. When I'm not playing with them and I don't want to play with them, I'll be playing World War III and recording videos. I just, It's just exciting, man. Like In November, we're getting three great games coming out and i don't think any of them are in competition with each other i don't think any <laughs> people any game developers want to be in competition with any other game all they're trying to do is release a game and if they have a big fan base and if people like it they're gonna play it i don't think we should worry about any type of competition between world war 3 battlefield 2042 or call of duty vanguard because personally i don't like call of duty i'm just getting it because of my friends my friends are playing call of duty i'm gonna play with them every so often but like ugh, i'm just only getting it for them besides that if i didn't have friends that play call of duty i wouldn't be buying call of duty but ladies and gentlemen thank you for joining my little chat i will talk to you guys next time peace